Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome to Diablo 2. But this is not Median XL. This is actually Vanilla Diablo 2, which I will explain in a second. But um, today we are actually not really going to be doing Median XL stuff. In fact, I don't really know what we're going to be doing today, if anything, um, because this is going to be more of an update video. But it's good news, so don't worry about it. Um, sadly, I didn't get a Median XL video out, which kind of makes me... Um, a little angry at myself, because I know I could have, but I was playing fucking, oh god, I just got a text, ignore that, anyways, yeah, because ugh, I was playing like GTA 5 and shit with my friends, Dota 2, anyways, um, whatever, it, it will be coming, but to make a long story short, I have figured my stuff out, I know what my schedule is like, and I know when I can record, and I'm also getting used to work, so, you know, I'm a lot less tired, so that will definitely give me time to record, um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's the majority of what I had to say for the most part. Uh, is there anything else? I guess we can talk schedules. Um, well, we'll do, be doing Median XL, obviously. Right now, my Assassin's really boring, which I've already kind of told you guys and stuff, and there's nothing I can really do about that right now besides, like, you know, just power through the content. But, um... I'll probably be doing that. Right now, the reason I'm actually not recording on Median XL is because I'm on a private server, which requires a, a, a specific D2 MPQ patch, which means I would have to get my Path of Exile patch again and change the gateway, and that's a pain in the ass, and right now I'm playing this, so I didn't want to do that. Uh, but this is actually pretty cool, so I'll explain this right now. So there was, um, like, with Path coming out, the new expansion, everyone was waiting. They were like, holy shit, what are we going to do in the meantime? You know, there's no point developing characters because this shit's going to be gone really, really soon. And, you know, everyone's already capped out and shit and hardcore in Path of Exile. So they're like, whatever. Okay, let's go play some Diablo 2. So some guy named, uh, like, Green Dude, I think his name is, decided to host this server. And it's pretty cool. It's made a few balance changes to the class, so it's not complete vanilla, but it's, like, completely fucking super awesome. Try to stay close to vanilla, and I love that so much. It's really, really cool. Um, I've had a ton, of, a ton of fun on it so far. Honestly, like, Median XL, one of the great things about it was the fact that it was super, super, like, like there's all sorts of shit. But with this, it's really simplistic, and I like that as well. It's like, you know, each side of the coin is, is pretty cool in this case, uh, which is awesome. Because this is a lot of fun. This is like a seriously awesome amount of fun. And I've been playing it for like the past fucking 18 hours. And I haven't gone to sleep. And I have work tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to record some of this somehow. I really fucking want to. Uh, but I'll just hover over my gear a little slower this time. So I have Spirit. I am level uh, 52. If you guys don't know, when leveling... Um, through hardcore, at least in this game, it, usually spirit is something you want to get on pretty much any character because it's super fucking good. Caster specifically because it gives you cast rate. Although the two to all skills is really really good, anyways. Um, it also has some life steal. Don't know if that's really great. Vitality is amazing. I mean, there's nothing bad about about vitality since that's like the main thing you want to stack in this game. Um, it has Magic Absorb, which I have no fucking idea what that does. It gives you mana, which is huge, since you're not putting anything into energy. So this is awesome. Um, it actually took me forever to find a freaking Crystal Sword uh, on cow runs. I think we did like 11. Mina, Mina, buddy of mine that I've been playing with. Um, not not in real life, but I just met him in the game, and we've been we've been playing together. Uh, shitty mask for the most part. It's just a strength mask. Gives me resistances, whatever. Pretty good. Not really though. Um, stealth in a really really bad base but you know it's cast rate it's run walk speed and it has regen actually which is really useful poison resist i don't think no it doesn't matter well actually i'm normal so it might matter whatever it doesn't matter um but yeah that's that it's really cheap though like tall eth holy shit you can get that in the first fucking 15 minutes you're playing the game um ain't, uh, but one thing i have to go over runes do not drop as often as they did in median xl like holy shit i was really surprised at how little the drop rate was of runes it was insane i was like getting into this game you know and i like when a rune dropped i was like holy shit wait that's a thing i totally forgot about that because i'm in like act two and i have not seen a rune drop uh turns out i was just getting unlucky though because i found like quite a few since then like on cows and countess obviously um, Ancient's Pledge. This is something great if you're having issues with resistances, because it gives you, like, 43 all res, and then, you know, the, the rest to 
like five more to every other thing except for cold. So it's basically like 50% all res, super fucking good. It has mind over matter of 10%, which if you guys don't know what mind over matter is uh, from Path of Exile, it just, it takes from your mana. Like your your mana becomes your health basically. Um, so it's not 10% reduced damage, it's 10% damage taken goes to mana. So it will work similarly provided that you have the mana to, uh, to power this, I guess. Um, the defense is meh. Honestly, defense in this game is kind of just shit. You just don't want to get hit for the most part. That, that's kind of the deal. Um, yeah, that, that <laughs> really, that, that's all I can say. Uh, let's see, is there anything else really to go over? This amulet I got at like a tryst run, and it was so, like, look at that. If those rolls were on a higher level amulet, this thing would be fucking nuts. Um, except it doesn't give you damage, so not really. It's a, a pretty good hardcore, like, safe amulet if you don't have resistances, but otherwise it's meh. I don't know. There's situations where this would be really, really good, but um, I don't know. It, it's it's all right. I'll say that much. It's all right. 4% to all res and 20% poison resist roll to give it a total of 24 poison resist, and then it has the strength index. Uh, the strength would be incredibly useful if this was a higher roll, so with a faster cast rate. Although I think you actually have to craft to get uh, a 20% faster cast rate, or above 10% anyways. Um, the rings kind of suck. I have a faster cast rate ring, that's it, and then fire resist, which is terrible, and I need to replace that. The belt, also pretty terrible. It gives me nine life, though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the cold resist also helps. Um, and this is uh, pretty much awful as well. I definitely need some new gloves. My offhand is just a staff that gives me three to lightning, which is actually pretty useful because if we take a look at my DPS on lightning, it's 3.5. And if we switch, it's actually pretty terrible. Wow. I, I really thought it was going to be a lot more than that. All right. Not going to worry about it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, so far, this has been so much fucking fun. It, like because it's a private server you don't have shortcuts so you have to be creative with what you do um like you'll form a group of people and you'll like walk through acts some and then you know maybe one of you will get lucky or maybe a really high level will join, join your game for some random reason give you the waypoint and that'll be cool but in the end it's just cool because uh, it's almost like there's a team composition like, if you have a druid on your fucking team, you're going to have a lot more health. If you have a barbarian on your team, you're going to have a lot more health and, like, everything else you'll have a lot of. And it's it's pretty cool. Uh, mostly, though, <laughs> I've just been running with another source and we're just, like, one-shotting everything because that's what Lightning Source does for the most part. Um, look at that vit, though. Good God. Like, no strength, just pure vit. I'm going to have to reset at some point. Um, my plan, if you guys don't know, uh, Nova Sources are actually really, really popular and I think the reason they're popular is because Nova does... Oh, by the way, this does... Oh, never mind. Just just ignore what I was about to say. Um, but yeah, Nova does like... It's not like usual lightning. It's not one to, you know, blank. It's like... It, it eventually scales, so it's like 288 to 353. So you're not, you know, going to have the chance of hitting something really fucking bad like one, which has happened... Um, you know, just hitting, like, a mob from Act 1 with my super powerful shit. Like, just going out here, hitting a Fallen, and I haven't, like, one-shot it before, and that was some sad stuff, let me tell you what. Um, but other times you, like, one-shot bosses, so that's pretty cool. Not, like, boss bosses, but, like, champion mobs, so that's, that's definitely fun. Um, but yeah, I'm a nightmare with this character. It's, uh, I, I don't, I don't even, even know, really, um... Oh, the gems, yeah, the, I should go over, the, or the charms, excuse me, the charms are super important. Um, this is something that's not in Median XL, and they've come in a lot of use. Uh, just this freaking health from all these is amazing. It gives me at least, you know, another 100 health or something like that with all of them, I believe. Um, and the resistances are also very useful. So yeah, I don't know what else to go over. Gambling sucks so far. Um, I haven't gotten one good fucking thing from gambling, so I'm just going to leave it alone until I have some way of farming gold better. Um, I found a few pretty good items so far. Um, I don't think any of them are here, though, unfortunately. No, these are a bunch of shitty stuff. Uh, I'm just saving three sock shields for, like, future things that I plan, or future classes that I plan on making, because pretty much for any class... Ancient, ancient Sludge is going to be useful. Unless you're a Barbarian that uses Whirlwind. Actually, wait, can a, barbar can a Barbarian use a shield with Whirlwind? If so, this would still be pretty good. <laughs> um, but, like, still, pretty useful. Um, and if anyone else wants them, I 
kind of just drop them for them. Oh, melee the splash damage duel that's added. That's like a, a new thing on this server. Um, and yeah, no idea. It gives your <laughs> melee attack splash damage, so it makes a lot of the melee classes like less fucking terrible, uh, which is pretty pretty cool. I think that's it though. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think so. But basically, the reason I made this video, I didn't even mean to get into like showing you my character and talking about stuff, but hopefully that was okay. Uh, but yeah, what it comes down to is I will be recording Media in XL. I will be recording other things, in fact, as well, in addition to Media in XL. Uh, but right now, today, anyways, uh, that is not going to be happening. Tomorrow I have work, and then I believe on Saturday night I'll probably be able to record. If I decide to record this private server, I should be able to get those out like every night. Um, because there's no planning that goes into that. You just kind of like play your character and you're done. Whereas in Media and XL, you have to plan. Um, unless I make a talk episode. But considering I just talked to you guys, that is not going to happen. I have talked to you about what I have wanted to talk about. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the continued support of the Media and XL series. I appreciate it. Sorry that this wasn't a Media and XL video. I know, it sucks. I, I need to fucking get on that ship. The Assassin is really goddamn boring at the beginning. Um... And you know what? If if anyone just wants me to not do Media in XL and just record some vanilla until Path of Exile comes out, I'm totally up for it. Just let me know. Um, and yes, you need to make the decision. Because if you just say it's your choice, man, I can't make my own choices. Come on. I, I, I'm afraid that people are going to get angry that I'm stopping the Media in XL stuff. Um, so yeah. One thing, though, before I leave... Vanilla Diablo is not fucking lame compared to Median XL. This is just a different game with lower numbers, and it's awesome. It is still fucking amazing, and I love it so much. And I definitely recommend you give it a try, obviously. You know, if you went straight to Median XL, terrible idea. You should definitely play Vanilla Diablo first. Um, last thing, actually, uh, if you guys do want to play on this server, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this. Even though it's like a pretty, like you could find it if you wanted to, um, because it's on all the fucking Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction streams, but go to uh, reddit.com slash r slash path of Diablo, and you will be able to find out the information on getting onto this server. Uh, for the most part, you need down to download an MPQ file and a gateway, to, a gateway uh, excuse me, goddamn, a gateway editor, and then you just put in the IP of the server and a few other things, and you should be good. And so far, I've had a lot of fun. It's been awesome. By the way, I'm on Hardcore. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm pretty sure I kind of, like, hinted at it. But, yeah, I'm on Hardcore. And Hardcore, I never did for Diablo 2, and it's awesome. But I'm going to leave it at that so this episode or, or video, whatever, doesn't go on for too long. Thank you guys, seriously, a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys, hopefully, soon.